<laughs> Tell us about Ben Finley. How's he doing? What made the decision to keep him out after that third quarter? Take him out? Yeah. Uh, he, he injured a uh, lower body injury. So, uh, you know, he couldn't go back in. And, uh, kind of took away our two QB package, but uh, we had reptage uh, throughout the course of the week. Uh, you know, as a primary quarterback, had a game plan in place for him. So, uh, disappointing because I thought Ben did some positive things, but uh, also gave us an opportunity to uh, get Todd some valuable reps. Any issues with helmet communications, that new thing? No, I wish it would have been around for the last 26 years. Worked uh, okay for you? I love it. Yeah, I mean, in terms of like technologi technological snafus or just general? No, it was great. Didn't have any problems? Nope, worked just like I'm practicing a game. Love it. What did you learn today? Um, I learned that Ohio State is an incredibly talented team uh, that is very well coached um, and will have an opportunity, in my opinion, having coached against the 2019 LSU team and I took my son to see uh, Michigan last spring for, for a recruiting visit. So I know what a team that can play for the national championship looks like and uh, you know, this looks like a team that can play for the national championship. That's what I learned about Ohio State. You know, what I learned about our guys is you know, when you put this kind of game on the schedule, you know, there's, there's, you know, you understand what you're getting into. Uh, so I didn't, you know, blow smoke off their tails, you know, uh, and, you know, show them 300 or Rocky or, you know, Hoosiers or any, any of that stuff. And I said, we got to control what we can control, which is how our level of preparation, you know, how hard we play, and then that execution one play at a time with no clock and no scoreboard and, uh, you know, work to make, daily deposits that will benefit us in this game throughout the course of the season. And, you know, quite frankly, I, I thought we did some, you know, certainly not indicative of the final score, but uh, I thought we, in, in all three phases, we did some really, really positive things. Joe, what did you know about Jeremiah Smith coming into this game, and what did you maybe find out about Jeremiah Smith today? We fought each other on Twitter, which is cool. So I, I, uh, I think it might have been, I don't know where I would have been, certainly when I wasn't here, but, um, He's out as advertised, and we recruited Mecca when I was at Oregon, and then to take kids, so uh, it's just an embarrassment of riches. You know, you, every, everywhere you look, there's, there's a guy that can catch it, break a tackle, and score, or a guy that can run by it, and, and a guy that can throw him the ball, and a line that can protect. So uh, to, to see that kid playing person after all the uh, kind of a pomp and circumstance leading up to it, he, he, could, he, he lived up to the, to the building. When you're facing a team like that that has running backs like they do and wide receivers like they do, how do you? It's it's sort of a pick your poison sort of approach. You guys played a, a fantastic half of defense and held them to what 17 points. So how do you how do you go about picking your poison in a situation like that where you know you can't double all the receivers and also have eight guys in the box? Yeah, I, I think the key thing is you got to try to keep it inside and in front, right? Whether it's a handoff or for a throw. And you know that the, the biggest determining factor in the outcome of football games are, are explosive play margin, turnover margin, and then it's third downs and red zones. So you know our, our whole thing with our defense is we want to put enough people at the box where they didn't just run it down our throat, but at the same time you know mix up the looks with base and pressure, and then play soft enough coverage where you know we were going to force them to you know throw it probably a little shorter than they intended and, and try to get them on the ground because you're not going to like if, if you say well we're going to come out we're going to we're going to completely stop them you're you're. Kid yourself. Coach, you've always been an extremely uh, competitive guy. Yep. Um, and you mentioned, you know, putting the Buckeyes on the schedule. You know, a tough game one. You guys have got a really tough non conference schedule. You got another Big Ten uh, game in there. You got South Carolina on the schedule. Talk a little bit about how that prepares you for your MAC schedule, your conference schedule. Yeah, I mean, it's a double edged sword, really. You know, when you take over the worst, worst football program in Division One football, um, you know, morale isn't high. You know, in, in the past two years, we've, you know, won four games and had 10 one score losses, you know, five by a touchdown, five by a field goal, and four in overtime. So the kids don't necessarily, you know, really believe uh, that they can win. So, yes, it does prepare you, right, for the games in the season where the, the competitive balance is a little bit more equal. But at the same time, like we got a quarterback knocked out in the schedule this game. Like so, like there, there's there's things that are positive that, that you're not going to replicate the size and the speed and the physicality of those kind of teams in, in your schedule. But on the, the other side of that pancake, 
know, you hope you get out of it healthy. So that's that's the that's the rub. We good? Good. All right. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Any other Warriors people here? No? I can get a message if you want. You can? Who said it? I can. I oh, can you? Get a message if you oh, want. no. They've always been They've always been very complimentary to me over the years, and I appreciate that. And Coach Zell, we had over here. Oh, yeah, everywhere here. So, so like, to tell them thank you for being nice to me over the years. Tell them they should have been here. Sir? Well, tell them they should have been here. All right. Thanks, guys.